Hello, everybody, and welcome to JAM Academy. We have um, an example that demonstrates um, how to solve problems involving resistive forces. A racing car actually crosses the finish line and starts decelerating. Um, now, the only resistive force acting on the car at this moment is given by K equal to F equal to KMV squared. Where K is a positive constant, M is the mass of the car, and V is the speed of the car. We are required to derive an expression to show how the velocity, the acceleration, as well as the position of the car varies with time as it slows down to, to rest. Um, so let's roll. We will begin the motion by doing our free body diagram. We have the weight of the car acts vertically downwards. There is a backward force, which is just the, the resistive force acting on the car. There is a normal force N. Now there is no force forward. So the next step is for us to apply Newton's second law um, here. We know that the sum of forces in the y direction would mean that N minus mg is equal to zero, which means that N is equal to mg. So this is the normal force acting on the curve. Along the x direction, the summation of fx will be equal to zero, there is no force forward, minus kmv squared, kmv squared. All of this should be equal to ma. All of that should be equal to ma. What that means is that k m v squared is equal to m dv over dt. Now this is a first order differential equation in terms of in terms of v. So the masses can clearly go away. And if they do, if they do go away, we will be left with a situation negative k v squared equal to d v over d t. Now um, we will separate the variables. In order to solve this differential equation, we will take the terms that contain contains v to one side of the equation, and the terms that contains t to the opposite side of the equation. If we do so we will be left with negative kt negative kt equal to dv over v squared now we will integrate both sides we're integrating from 0 to t now the limits of integration of v we're integrating from v naught to v at that particular time So this means that this means that um, the integral from v naught to v of v negative to dv will be equal to the integral negative k dt from zero to t. This is equal to v negative one divided by negative one from v zero to v. equal to negative kt. In other words, in other words, we have 1 over v from v naught to v equal to kt. This means that 1 over v minus 1 over v naught is equal to kt. Now we want to look for the expression of v in terms of v so 1 over v will be equal to 1 over v naught plus kt um, which is equal to 1 plus v naught kt divided by v naught in other words this means that v is equal to v naught divided by 1 plus v naught kt. This gives us the expression 
for the velocity as a function of time. This gives us the expression for the velocity really as a function of time. Now the next part, step is for us to determine the expression for the position as a function of time. Now if you look carefully, you will notice that V is the same as dx over dt. That should be equal to V0 divided by 1 plus V0 kt. In other words, dx is equal to V0 dt divided by 1 plus V0 kt. Now, what we have to do is we need to integrate both sides. So we are going to have, we're integrating from 0 to x dx equal to v naught the integral we're integrating from 0 to t dt from 1 plus v naught kt now how do we solve this integral this would mean that x is equal to the natural log um this is v naught 1 over v naught k, the natural log of 1 plus v naught kt. And we are integrating from 0 to t. So x is equal to 1 over k, the natural log of 1 plus v naught kt bracket minus the natural log of 1. Now the natural log of 1 is 0 so this would mean this would mean that x is just equal to 1 over k the natural log of 1 plus v naught kt and this gives us the expression for the position as a function of time. Now, what about the acceleration? Now, what I want you to see is this. What I would like for you to see is this. Um, from this equation, one can conclude that the natural log of 1 plus v naught kt is equal to kx, which essentially implies that 1 plus v naught kt is equal to e raised to the power kx. Now, if that is the case, we also know that v is equal to v naught divided by 1 plus v naught kt. But 1 plus v naught kt is equal to e raised to the power x. So this is just going to be equal to v naught divided by e kx. In other words, v is equal to v naught e negative kx. This is the expression for v as a function of time. But what do we know? a is equal to dv over dt, which can still be expressed as dv over dx dot dx over dt. dx over dt, this is just going to be equal to v dv over dx. What is dv over dx? dv over dx is equal to v naught bracket negative kx e negative kx which is just going to be negative k v naught x e negative k v x but what is v? This means that the acceleration a is equal to v naught divided by 1 plus v naught kt multiplied by k v naught x e negative kx. You can simplify and this would mean that a will be equal to k x v naught squared divided by 1 plus v naught kt e negative kx and this will give us the expression of a 
as a function of time as well. Now, please, if you have any questions regarding how this problem has been diagnosed and solved, I will appreciate it if you ask the question in the discussion forum below this video. Thank you so much for your time and have a wonderful day. Manhattan, in the hood, Brooklyn, in the hood, Queensbridge.